Hey guys, I'm the Fake Psychic, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. When we last left off, we had a lot of cutscenes, and badly placed portal references. But, you know what, I'm okay with it. Uh, in this part, we're riding an elevator. That, that's exciting. Anyway, when, we, when you place the pure heart in the heart pillar, Merlon, and go back up, uh, Merlon will talk to you about the door, and how it appeared, and how fancy it is. And that, and it'll also give you this return pipe, which will let you jump back to flip side quickly. But there are limitations on it, and that's saying things that I just said. Yay! And so he's telling us to go fly, go flying, go flying to Bestovius. Don't quite know how you flying someone, but uh, whatever. Enter the door, and you get this nice cutscene. With Count Black, uh... Yeah. Is this a, oh god, I'm Count Black. You know, that voice just doesn't seem like it should be coming out of that body. Not gonna lie. Count Black, his assistant, and those two henchmen. Just, just throwing that out there. Oh my goodness, what the heck, there's two of them. It's a trick, General Sherman, there's two of them! Something tells me her name is Mimi. Not gonna lie. Hooligan Rare. You can't fool it. Except he looks pretty fooled by it. Almost as dapper as first person, man. If he lost the hat, then he wouldn't be quite as dapper. And now you'll learn why Dementio is one of my favorite characters. There you go. Yay, dreams, truth, die. You know, something tells me that you'd think the minions would be smart enough to realize that if you followed something called the Dark Prognosticus, then bad things would happen. You never know. The Hero. Big letters count black. Oh, Chunks. He's kind of weird. Rain down like a fat thunderstorm. And he's, and he's gonna come and chunk Mario. That, yeah. Uh, I love the way he teleports. It's so much cooler than kind of Flash. Small text cutscene, and we get chapter one one. The chapter system works a little bit differently in this game than in past Paper Mario games, as you can tell by its one one and not just one. I think there's about four sub chapter things per chapter, I guess. You get a nice intro to things. Also, fire flowers greater than square over pipe. Or greater than or equal to square over pipe. This also works, uh, excuse me, uh, it also works a lot differently than the original Paper Mario games, as you can tell by there aren't any turn-based battles. You can jump on enemies like that. That just does normal damage and gets you a minimal amount of points. Mushrooms are store hit points, like they always have. There's a pipe. And you can also do those stylish hits, very similar to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, which will let you get more points. Also, for some reason, it takes me forever to realize that I can't go down this pipe. I don't know why. 
I must have thought that there was something very important in this pipe, and I was trying to tattle on it because Tippy's special pixel ability is she's essentially Goombario or Goombella. She tattles. It'll give you stats on monsters, uh, tips on what to do next, and also it will reveal hidden objects, which will come into use right about here. Oh my god, it's an empty room. My thoughts exactly, Mario. Except it's not empty! Oh my god! Yeah, big door. Big door leads to big things. It's like the rule of RPGs. He has a freaky cape collar thing. He looks like a Time Lord. Guards the rich cloth of the hero of Prosophy. Prosophy? Prosophy, yes. Hero impersonator. Dun dun dun. I don't know. Ah, she knows. His full body, body. Why can't I talk? What the heck is wrong with me? Ten thousand coins to teach flipping. Expenditures means he hires hookers. No, I'm sorry. Nah, no, I'm sorry. I think you can actually keep going on that and he'll give you money, but I didn't feel like doing it, so... Whatever. It's not like there's a lack of money in this, or a lack of coins in Super Paper Mario. The only one where I ever had problems with money was Paper Mario 2, but that's a story for a different time. And now we have lots of fun fourth wall breaking. And you can now flip. Uh, it's kind of explaining a lot of things. Flip gauge is the thing under your HP bar when you flip, and for a little bit afterwards. If it reaches purple, that, well, magenta E color at the end, you will start taking hit point damage, which means get out of flip mode now. Oh, you can also pick up items by flipping in Vistovius's house, like the Shroom Shake, which restores 10 hit points, the Courage Shell, which increases your defense, and the whatever that fire thing was, which will do fire damage. Save complete. I just noticed his window. His window's kind of cool. Anyway... Now, I don't know, like, every single secret for, like, if you flip here, you get this. But if you flip here, you can get uh, some coins and whatever's in those item blocks. And blocks? Item blocks, which are two coins and some pal pills. I think if you jump here, you can get some stuff too, but I don't care. Pal pills are one of the unique things for this game. It summons all these 8-bit Marios to come follow you. And they will do damage and take damage for you. They're pretty useful. Also, if you notice, that big block was not actually a block, so... And if you notice, the Pal Pills do the classic Game Over 8-bit Mario things. I think I killed my own Pal Pill with that. Really watching the footage. Here behind this uh, pillar, or pipe, I guess, would be a better way to put it, because I've been wondering, um, is a catch card. Catch cards are, like, a collectible you can get. They detail enemies or players or things, basically. And if you have the catch card for an enemy, you will do double damage to them. And here's me being an idiot. I really wasn't playing well with the first, this first little bit. I don't know why. Also, you might have noticed there was like a weird coin block that I don't know what it does because I never got it, so... I actually only noticed it rewatching the footage as well, so... Oh no, it is an impassable gap. Whatever shall I do besides get the happy flower. Happy flower rains coins on you. 
Good if you, uh, kind of were an idiot and actually paid all the money in your pocket for Bestovius. Money! Money falling from the sky! It's my buddy. Money buddies. Anyway, I kind of killed my uh, pal bill there. My last pal bill. If you notice, as you go up on these little hills, you can cross it. And the fancy little staircase is an illusion. Also, these purple ones have four hit points as opposed to the pink ones too, and they also shoot. I think you can jump on the shot and uh, combo off of it. Don't hold me to that. Anyway, it's just about time to uh, stop for this part. Uh, we continue on, and then we'll continue part this part of Chapter 1-1. I think we're almost done. As I dance around with the stars. See you guys later.